Hey YouTube, Windraiser here today coming to you with a quickish Transformers review. I'm going to be take, finally taking a look at the only Wave 2 core class of Transformers United, Beast Machines Cheetor. Um, I found him at one of my favorite comic shops for like 10 bucks. Went ahead and picked him up and uh, picked up a uh g 40th anniversary g1 funko pop astro train for my girlfriend so decided to do that today um first off the only reason why i got him is i like his beast mode his robot mode is complete slag but that face that face has seen ooh, focus that face has seen some things that it can never be unseen. <laughs> but I do like the coloring on him. He's all yellow. We do have some mismatched yellow here on the hips. But we've got some orange for the waist, bottom of the feet. Got some green, some gold, the belly, the purple spots, the green and purple markings on the head. Got some orange on the shoulders, some more purple on the shoulder and thighs. Very good. Nice sculpt all around. Posability on him. Shoulders on our ball joint. There is a ball joint at the elbow. No wrist, no waist. Ball joint at the hips. For forward and back, in and out. There is thigh swivel. There is a bend at the knee for forward and back. And there is a bend at the ankle for forward and back. And the head is on a um, swivel. So, yeah, very cool little figure. He does come with two accessories. They are stored here on his shoulders. And they are his traditional blades that he has. Just go ahead and pop those off. And they are pegged on with these little tabs. Stand. With these little tabs right here. They're pegged into the shoulders right there. Right around point net. Now he can hold these in his hands. And do his wieldy, quickly slash, 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 thing that it does. Or, uh, you can do this. I, mine, I don't have instructions for him, so. Um, peg him like this. And he can hold it in one hand. Like so. And you have a double spinny blade thing. You can have that going on. Very cool. Cha -cha -cha -cha. Uh, size by size comparison. Here he is next to Squeeze Play in his monster mode. Back up some paper here. I should have moved this first, but I did it. So, excuse me. There we go. Here we have Squeeze Play in Cheetor. Um, he's been kind of like in most of my reviews now, my Combiner Wars Breakneck, or Wild Rider. Very cool. So go ahead and get into his transformation. So go ahead and take the weapons, unpeg them, and go ahead and peg them into his respective shoulders. Here and here. All right, so first we're gonna do is we're gonna take this part of the arm flap here, fold it down, peg it into place. Same on the other side. There are these little holes right here in his chest where my thumb's pointing. And then this tab will go into that hole. Pop the ball joint. And get that in there. Same on the other side. Come up. Get it in there. Now what you can do, you can leave his head like this. What I like to do is rotate the head around. Come here to the back, take the cheetah head, and fold it all the way up. I guess it's going to give him a bit of a weird neck flap, but I'd rather hide the head. So bring him forward. Take this part of the waist, bring it down, and it'll help you unclip the tail. 
bring it down to a little soup in the place. Like that. Take the legs. There are tabs on the inside of the thighs that will slot up. Oh, yeah. Tabs here that will slot up into little grooves right where my thumb's pointing. And then at the knee. And that will just slide in like so. So bend at the knee. Slide that in. And the ankles. Make sure the tail's extended. And there you have Cheetor in his beast mode. And he's always looking down. I I don't know. The transformation is okay. Like the beast mode head, I do like. You do have a bit of a gullet here, but if you do it this this way, keep the head like that and rotate it down. Now you've got the head visible. So yeah, I don't mind the gullet thing, so I just keep it like that. Um, as for the butt positioning, I don't know. It feels like it can go further than that, but it, I don't want to break it. Um. Beast mode, beast mode head looks good. The rest of the, the beast mode is um, less to be desired. I mean, he's constantly looking down. He, he's got big old paws with thumbs, his visible hands. The robot mode legs are his, are his feet for cheetah mode. His butt is in the air constantly. So he can poop on you. Get pooped on, dude. And yeah, he's just constantly looking down the floor. I like the spots that are on the head. The little purple lines here on the face. But aside from that, that's about it. Transformation back into robot mode. Bring the hips forward. Bring the tail in. Bring the head down. Unpeg the legs. Straighten the legs out to your liking. Fold these down. And there's a tab here. Right there. A little tab right there. That was kind of rest in there. Unpeg the arm. And rotate the head around. And there you have a mech in cheetah mode. Um, yeah, I get what they were going for with this figure, but in delivery, it kind of fails. Like the robot mode is there. That's Cheeto, Cheetor robot mode, beast machines. The beast mode was not thought of very well. Like... If they were to have picked any characters from the Beast Machine line, I suggest they should have gone with uh, Thrust of the Vehicons or Tank Or or Jetstorm or uh, Obsidian or Stryka. Any of those Vehicons. Or maybe the Beast Machine's Rat Trap because he was small enough. Maybe. But yeah, I get what they were going for. But yeah. There you guys have it. There has been my review for Beast Machines United Core Class Cheetor. I'm Windraiser, and uh, oh god, what's going on?